I'm gonna preface this video by saying that there's absolutely nothing wrong with the shifter in my uh, 991.2 Carrera T. This is actually the OEM short shifter, which I also had in my uh, 981 Cayman uh, S. Uh, but in the 911, because of the fact that the linkage is a little longer, the shifts are not as crisp. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take off this. And by the way, yes, there are these phone mounts that you can put behind the radio here or here, which I had, but I actually prefer this because you can use it whenever you need to, you see, it's super, super strong. And then when you don't need to use it, like right now, twist it off and put it aside. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Okay, getting started. Uh, we're gonna need some basic tools, but before we get to these basic basic tools, let's start popping up these panels. They, You can best pop them up with your fingers. See, so out a little bit and then pull them towards you. To remove the shifter, first you do is you click the base, you see, to basically undo it. You have to do is you, and maybe it's better like this, you squeeze the base and you flick it left. And then you grab this little tool and you simply pry it up and you simply pull up. Then we're gonna start removing this trim around it. Again, I like to use my fingers. Okay, here you might wanna use a tool, twist it and it comes up. Then we can start removing this section. Next, we're gonna remove this center piece. There are these clips on the side that are easy to shift to the side and it comes right out. Disconnect, there we go. Then it's your ashtray. Again, you stick your tool in here, stick it here, shift it forward, see? And it pops out and also disconnect it from the back. Next, I grabbed a towel because we're gonna be removing uh, the radio, or rather swinging it to the side, uh, because we want, we want to remove this climate, and then the radio can, uh, we can pop it back in. So you take your trusted T25, and the idea here is, you take the radio out, you swing it to the side, and then you take the climate unit out. I've taken this radio out in the past. Let's see, can we swing it to the side? This is it. Each plug is different, so there's no way you can screw it up. And then you slide the radio in temporarily. So now you've got one, two, three T25s on each side that you want to undo. Now, we should be able to slide this whole piece out now just by prying it. This is the trickiest piece. Uh, in my other car, I broke a tab, actually, this is pretty straightforward here. It comes right out. Next, you've got this wiring loom, which you need to disconnect. This side, I simply squeezed at the bottom, which allowed me to pull it out, out of the hole. The one in the back, I could not do it, so I had to cut the zip tie, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Now that you've got the shifter exposed, the idea here is to remove the shifter cables. To remove shifter cables, you simply push them forward and slide it. And as you slide it out, it exposes the gear. Now, to mark the area where the shifter should be, because it sort of, it sits centered, but not really, you just wanna mark the areas where the shifter should sit into this little thread. There you go, like this, like that. This is where this one is. And now after exposing the second one, let's mark it up as well, this one. So now that both of them are marked up, you can simply pull them up. You see, pull them up, pull them up. And now your shifter is all flimsy. So now that your shifter is indeed flimsy, uh, you can remove the T25s that are here. The screws are, are removed and the next step is as simple as removing the actual shifter assembly. So let's wiggle it out. There we go. So this is the, uh, the old shifter, and this is the new shifter. Uh, aluminum base sits on plastic sliders. Uh, this looks like also aluminum base that sits on, uh, 
metal, I guess stainless steel sliders. So uh, that's why this should give me um, a sort of a, a better feel. Now you might be confused, where's the actual knob? This is the knob and what's cool about this one is this is adjustable. So depending on how high or, or low you want it to be, uh, you, can, uh, you can play with the height. I'm gonna set it to the same height as my OEM one, uh, but before we can do that, we need to transfer the actual guys from the bottom. So to do this, you simply, you see, grab it, you just twist it off. Come on, come on. Feels like you're, you're breaking it, uh, but you won't. Okay, so left one goes to the left, or rather the white one goes to the left. See, it just snaps in place. And now this one, we're gonna transfer this one to the right. Pops in place. And this is it. So now the installation is uh, basically a reverse of removal, as they say. Uh, so you stick it in here. Now, there is a chance, not from the, what the company tells me, but one person messaged me saying, hey, I was having issues when I put the, uh, the car in reverse. I was getting some rubbing, so I used a little washer up here. That's a possibility. If that happens to you, you just use a little washer here to lift the shifter just a little bit. So anyways, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the actual shifter cables back in place. And, I, and since I have it marked here, I know exactly where they go. All right, and just like that, we closed it and now we can go ahead and attach one, two, three, four of these screws. All right, so you wanna tighten it as much as you can so you can now test all the shifting to make sure there's no rubbing or anything. Sure enough, there is rubbing, actually. So this is the shifter, right? So you shift it, one, two, three, four. When you put it in reverse, this ball shifts on this aluminum piece. So check this out. There you go. See, I guess when you just do this, when you shift it all the way left, you can hear it rub. So what my friend suggested is, again, you put a little washer and hopefully that should fix it. So I'm putting this washer here. You know what? I'm gonna have to give them a shout out. Mateen Motorsports. When the owner saw me post the shifter, he actually told me to, to look out for that. Check this out. With this much spacing just on this side eliminated that rub. Uh, but anyways, uh, now, before we put things back together, I'm gonna measure the knob because I want the length to be pretty much the same. And now, it is as simple as taking a three-quarter wrench and tightening it against the thread. And without the knob, I gotta say, this does feel uh, pretty good. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna start putting things back together, starting with this cable, which sits here. And this piece of hunk. Make sure the holes are aligned and drive one, two, three screws back in. Next, we're gonna take the radio out and plug the control or climate unit back in. And don't worry, there's only one way to plug them in. Then we move on to the ashtray. Then we take this guy, this button goes next, this now, this trim. Then we're gonna do the side trim. And then once you align all the clips, you simply push them in place. Perfect. And then last but not least, there we go. So it is on. And then remember, you wanna click, you want to tighten it, put it back in place, and you're done. So now, the moment of truth. How does it feel? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. So it does feel pretty good. I've got to say. Wow. All right, let's take it for a quick spin.
Wow. Wow. I sound like Owen Wilson. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Definitely a lot more direct, which I didn't think was possible. And I, I didn't expect it to be this sort of uh, mechanical. I hate using that word because everyone uses mechanical for everything that feels kind of old school. But this feels really, really good. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> this feels so good. Oh man. And it doesn't feel aftermarket at all. It just feels refined. It feels OEM refined, which is exactly what I was looking for. I'm glad I didn't go with the lighter spring. It would have been maybe not uh, different enough. This one is just amazing. Oh, wow. Second gear feels so good. Wow. So I didn't think it was possible to improve the shifter this much. And again, make it feel OEM. But we did it, ladies and gentlemen. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. Every tool that I used in this video, I'm gonna link in the description. Same thing with the shifter. Absolutely amazing. If you're on the fence, do it. Because <laughs> this is one of those mods you didn't know you needed until uh, you install it, until you've driven someone else's car and you, and you realize how sloppy the, uh, the OEM shifter is. Oh my God, this feels so good. <laughs> Woo Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Do you need a ride? See this guy? Happy. Oh yeah. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Caesar. And of course, thank you, Numeric Racing, for making such a great product. <laughs>